Well, I'm a little more power, man, live from the headquarters, man, with the Daily Verse. Might give you a little rant to go along with it, but we're in the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, in the first chapter, going down to the 11th verse, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb, yielding the seeds and the fruit tree, yielding fruit after its kinds, and whose seeds are in itself upon the earth, and it was so. Verse 12 said, and the earth brought forth the grass, the herb, yielding seeds after its kind, and yielding the fruit trees, whose seed was in itself after its kind, and God saw that it was good. I agree with God. He made this marijuana that uh, I'm smoking my medicine. I broke my back and my neck. I have a DDS syndrome, uh, along with arthritis, and uh, also have a borderline psychological disorder that Marijuana helps me a great deal. I don't take any other type of medication that's actually worse for you. For your, uh, you see, the number one addiction right now is pain meds. I manage mine with, you know, good strong weed. Thanking God for creating it. Like I say, anything he made before man was all, all good, and then man came along with his disobedience and messed it up. And now we see the America and the doctors and everybody saying how good weight is and now it's becoming legal all over the place and some places prohibition is over in this country. They call it the United States, but it still gets you locked up in Georgia, but not Colorado. I can't understand how we the United States on that. And, you know, my brother, he Mike, Mike Gross, he shared a post about the 1.5 million American black men that are... Uh, uh, Missing right now, caught up in this judicial system that's so racist and corrupt, it's pathetic. Where we see white men get caught with pounds and get probation, and black men get caught with small amounts and do years. And now we see all these CNN specials, these marijuana growers, they got their own TV shows, they're making big money, millions and billions of dollars, but you got to be rich in order to get into this society, so a black man ain't finna make no money off of it, he, unless he get a job as a worker, doing what he been doing, transporting it. Can't get a business loan, because you got to have a lot of money to, to get in that business, you know, I just read an article about it. The licenses fees over a million dollars. You got to have assets of over seven figures in the bank. You, you can't even get in it. You can't even get in the metal marijuana business unless you a millionaire. So, ain't a whole lot of black millionaires except for them NBA and NFL players and stuff. They might get start some when they retire, but the average black man ain't gonna make a dime off of legal marijuana. And Uncle Sam gonna make a killing, and it's a lot of black men still in jail for. Selling something that God said was good, trying to make a living. Anyways, man, I just want to recognize that that, that racism is real, and not only racism, but socialism, uh, as, as far as socioeconomic status, ism. You know, poor white people got it just as bad as blacks right now. The only thing different about it that they might have somebody in their kin that can do something for them because they got some connections. But anyways, man, just to give you a little rant, you know, fed up with the marijuana law. Thank God that he made it and it's so good for me. And thanking God that some places are waking up and hopefully Georgia will catch up and we can be the United States instead of the divided states where you can go to prison in one state and, and, and the next day you can smoke where you, like you got a license. <laughs> it's crazy, but we the United States. The place where they disrespect the president every day. You know, burn the flag and silly stuff like that. You know, sometimes it's just a disgrace to be a black man in America, man. I like the word niggas. You know, me and the king. That's who I am. But anyway, God bless your heart. Genesis 1 and 1, 11, 12. God said, let the earth bring forth grass and herb yielding seed and fruit of its kind. Whose seed was in itself upon was the earth and it was so. Verse 12, and the earth brought forth grass and herb, yielding seeds after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seeds was in itself after its kind, and God saw that it was good. So, you can argue with God all you want. I'm not. 
He said it's good. I say it's good. I know it's helped me. I know it's helping babies with seizures. I know it's helping cancer patients. I know it's helping mar uh, eight, uh, AIDS patients. I know it's ha helping people with chronic pain, fibromyalgia. So, you know, God said it was good. I say it's good. If you don't say it's good, pfft, too bad. Your opinion really don't mean nothing. But God bless you anyway. I hope that the Holy Spirit enlightened you. God bless. Peace and love all day, every day. It's your boy, more love, more power. In the white man world. Blacks and all other non-white people were to be the burden bearers for the real citizens of this nation.